whatever year you are in, whatever you are studying, it's really, really important that you have a timetable. Now this is video isn't going to be about how to make a timetable because last year I did a really long video on this and it's actually a pretty good video so I'm not just going to remake a video for the sake of remaking a video. But this is just me trying to convince you to go and watch that video and make yourself a timetable because it is so, so important. Your natural tendency is going to be to study the subjects that you prefer, the ones that you like. And then forget about the ones that maybe you don't like. Well, yeah, no, I'm afraid that's not going to work. Even if you hate maths, I'm afraid you still have to revise it. Even if you hate English as much as I hated it back in school, you still have to revise it. You still have the exams in it, you're still going to get a GCSE in it. And we would like it to be a good GCSE. So you need to make sure that you are setting aside enough time per subject to do your revision. You also need to make sure that you are being sensible. Do not just sit there all evening revising one subject because your brain doesn't like it. Your brain will start crying on the inside and it will start rebelling and it will start doing things that you don't want it to do. So go and watch the video. Um, there's a lot of me talking in there. There's a lot of me showing you how to make um, timetables which um, I use post-it notes, you can use whatever you want, like scraps of paper I do with at school sometimes, just please go and make yourself a revision timetable, it's a really, really good thing for you to do.